Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve rational and irrational numbers. As you can see, there are three important things we need to remember when solving for rational and irrational numbers. The first thing is that irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written as a fraction. Common examples of these would be like pi, which is 3.14159, and it goes on forever. And many square roots are irrational numbers unless they're perfect squares. So a good example would be the square root of 2. This would be 1.4121, and it would go on forever, and it would never repeat. So both of these would be examples of irrational numbers that you could not write as a fraction. It's not possible to write them as a fraction. If written in decimal form, irrational numbers will never repeat. These numbers will never start repeating. It'll be a random string of numbers, and the decimal will go on forever, and it will never end. Rational numbers, on the other hand, are numbers that can be written as a fraction, and they are things such as integers or whole numbers. Rational numbers have decimals that do end and do repeat. So they will have repeating decimals and they will have decimals that end which are called terminating decimals. So if you see a decimal and it repeats or it ends, that means it's rational because you can write both of those as fractions. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and jump to our first practice problem. This first practice problem on rational and irrational numbers gives us 15.39. All we have to do is say whether it's rational or irrational. Now if you look at this decimal, this decimal stops right there at 9, so it ends at 9. Because it ends, this is what's called a terminating decimal. And that means that this will be rational because you can write it as a fraction. I can rewrite 15.39 as a fraction by just saying 1,539 over 100. And if you were to simplify this fraction, you would end up getting 15.39. And that's how I know this is a rational number. And that's why all terminating decimals are rational numbers. Jumping down to our second practice problem, this one gives us the square root of 77. Now for square roots, unless it is a perfect square, it is going to be an irrational number. Now perfect squares are squares that when you take the square root, you end up getting a whole number. In the case of the square root of 77, this as a decimal will be 8.774964. And it goes on forever, and it never repeats. It just stays a random string of numbers and never repeats and never stops. And because of that, that makes the square root of 77 an irrational number. And finally, our last example problem for rational and irrational numbers gives us 0 0.98. This bar means that the decimal point goes on forever, but that it repeats. So if I were to rewrite this out, it would repeat 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, over and over and over again. And because it's repeating the same thing over and over again, that is a repeating decimal. And because it's a repeating decimal, that means that 0 0.98 is a rational number. And you can write it as a fraction. And if you want to do some more practice on rational and irrational numbers, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video to be taken to a quick practice quiz that will grade itself and tell you how you did. You can also download a free practice worksheet. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it. And drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!